Hi everyone, I'm Chris. I want to provide you with a pitch and slides of our project called Eyes of the Crane. Eyes of the Crane was carried out at a recent hackathon called TechFest that was held in 2018 here in Munich. At TechFest, about 400 hackers, makers and designers competed in several different challenges. We took part in the Havoc track, hacking a crane with a 30 meter boom. Within the three days of the hackathon, we really pumped autonomous hydraulics to the next level. So let's get started. Meet my friend Nico. Hi Nico. Nico is a window cleaner. He cleans windows for a living. The problem being a window cleaner in today's mega cities is that most windows are very high up and therefore Nico needs help of a crane. And Enno. Enno is a crane operator and helps Nico to get into position for cleaning. We asked ourselves, is it possible to enable Nico to operate the crane alone? Or in other words, replace Enno by a robot. But what does that actually mean? Well, firstly, Enno uses his superb eyes to perceive the environment in front of the crane. We achieved this by implementing a LiDAR system that essentially deduces the distance to an object by measuring the return time of a laser pulse reflected from that object. In the upper left, you find our setup, consisting of a cheap 1D LiDAR that is mounted on a penitent unit in order to scan along the vertical axis. On the lower part, you see the resulting 3D images of the parking lot just outside and the TechFest unicorn on the right. Secondly, Enno uses his superior orientation skills in order to orient himself in 3D space. We imitate this by implementing an inertial measurement unit, or IMU, hooked up to an Arduino. By measuring translational and rotational accelerations, it allows us to deduce the relative position of our platform and thus orient ourselves in 3D space. Finally, Enno uses his hands and the remote control in order to operate the crane. We hacked this by building our own control unit that is hooked up to the crane electronics. Then with the help of several Harbor guys and even more Harbor guys, you can actually gain control over all axes of the crane. Now, putting all of these things together, we asked ourselves, how far could we actually get? Well, let me show you with a little video. Here you see Nico on his working platform. Next to him, you find the LiDAR system. By scanning the system horizontally, it detects the wall up front. You can see the point cloud on the lower right. We take a small fraction of the full scan that is marked in red. This is then fit by a line in order to deduce the angle and position with respect to the wall. This information is then fed back onto the control unit to minimize the wall angle, or in other words, position the platform parallel to the surface. In addition to the point cloud, you'll see Nico's point of view in the upper right. So let's see what happens. Nico initially takes his hands off and the platform remains in place, that is until we start moving the wall around. You can see how the crane tries to follow the wall until we stop and the platform locks in place parallel to the surface. In the back, you can actually see a crane operator that has his hand on the safety switch, but otherwise doesn't have anything to do other than filming the scene. Now, when we move the wall again, you can see that the crane again follows our movement and locks into position as we stop. Altogether, we have thus demonstrated autonomous control over the crane, which allows us to implement a positioning relative to an object in space. That is until Lawrence steps in front of the LiDAR sensor and the system becomes blind. With this new technology in place, Nico can now work more efficiently and even shoot a few tweets during work. As a final step, let's briefly review the business side of our project. I've demonstrated that we can enable untrained personnel to operate the crane. And that does not only hold for Nico the window cleaner, but also for his twin brother Hugo, the forest worker, who cuts trees for a living. We can also increase their safety by detecting obstacles in front of the platform. Now, by moving the arm around and using the LiDAR scanner, we can map the full environment of the crane. And by taking a series of scans over time, we can use this to monitor progress on a construction site. With that, I would like to finish and thank the whole TechFest crew and the guys from Harve for the uh, awesome challenge and the awesome uh, support during uh, the three days. I'm happy we were able to pump autonomous hydraulics to the next level. 
It was a great team and great fun. And if you liked our work or have further questions or remark, please comment in our project in the comment section below the video.